Hey, how's it going? For this video, we're going to work on finding the arc length of a circle. So the idea is that we have a circle and we're given some sort of angle inside of that circle. And if we follow that angle out, we can see that it measures out a portion of the entire thing. Well, if you know that angle and you know the radius of the circle, you can actually figure out how long this little arc ends up being. So how exactly is it that you figure out how long it is? Well, you end up using this formula right here. This formula gives a connection between the arc length, the radius, and the angle of the circle as long as that angle is written in radians. This means if you're trying to do the problem and let's say you have an angle as 25 degrees or 45 degrees, you want to convert that thing into radians first and then go ahead and use the formula and you'll be just fine. So let's go ahead and do this quick example that I have drawn out here to see how this formula works. So for this circle, I have an angle on the inside. There's that 3 pi over 5. It's in radians. And I have a radius. What I don't know is what is this red portion? What is the arc length? So I'll say my arc length is equal to the radius uh, 20 multiplied by 3 pi over 5. Okay, so this isn't too bad. Now all I have to do is reduce it. See, 5 goes into 20 four times. So my arc length is equal to 4 times 3 pi, or I could say 12 pi. Not bad. And sure enough, that's the length of this portion. Now, we can play around with this problem. Uh, since it is connection among all of those three things, as long as we have two of them, we can always find the other one. Let me show you what I mean by that. So here I have a very similar problem. I have an angle in that circle. I know the arc length. But this time, I don't know the radius of the circle. That's not a problem. We'll still use the same formula, arc length equals radius times angle, uh, to go ahead and find our missing radius. This time, we'll just say we already know the arc length, so there's our 9 pi. We don't know the radius. We'll leave that as r. And we'll write out the angle written in uh, radians, so pi over 4. So now all we have to do is solve this for our radians. Uh, and again, that's not too bad. We can multiply both sides by 4 divided by pi. That'll get rid of it just fine. Uh, get rid of some pi's. So 4 multiplied by 9 is equal to r, or 36. That is the radius of our circle. All right, one more case to really cover. On to this guy. This one, we have the arc length. We have the radius, but I don't know the angle inside of the circle. So arc length equals radius times the angle. And now let's start dropping in all of our information. So arc length is 50 pi. The radius in this case, uh, well, we, uh, we have 40 for the radius, but we don't know the angle, so let's leave that as theta. Uh, this one, as we go to solve it, we can divide both sides by 40, and then really work to reduce that fraction on the left. Let's see, it looks like 10 goes into the top, 10 goes into the bottom. So I end up with 5 pi over 4. And there's my angle already in radians. Perfect. All right, so that's a really neat little problem. Uh, it's probably not a bad idea to start memorizing this formula. It's a really good connection among those three things. And of course, if you'd like to see some more videos, please visit mysecretmathtutor.com.